Hello students, I am Mom Rose. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell for you to be updated on my upcoming videos. Happy learning! In this video, we will be rewriting standard form to general form of an ellipse. Our item here is a standard form of an ellipse with vertex HK, which looks like this. So our goal is to come up with its general form. But notice that our given here started with a term in Y variable. So we will simply interchange their positions and we are ready to solve. Remember that our bigger denominator is our A squared, while our lesser denominator is our b squared. Therefore, this standard form actually looks like this. And we are to provide the general form here, which is not in fraction form. So our first step here is to eliminate fractions by thinking about the LCD or the least common denominator. Since there is no number that can be divided in both 4 and 9, our LCD is simply the product of 4 times 9. We will be distributing this one to each of the term. Let's start with the first one. Since 4 is common here, we will be cancelling it out and we are left with 9. And we'll simply multiply 9 to the numerator. Next is, on the second term, 9 is common here so we will be cancelling it out. What's left is 4 multiplied to the numerator. Lastly, 1 times 4 times 9 is equal to 36. As you can see, there is no more fraction here, and we can now proceed. In our first term here, we have to expand this binomial. So we have here x minus 4 multiplied to itself. Same with the second term here, we also have to multiply y minus 3 to itself. Let us now perform the FOIL method. We have here x times x is equal to x squared, x times negative 4 is negative 4x, negative 4 times x is negative 4x, and negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. On the next term, we also have here y times y is y squared, y times negative 3 is negative 3y, negative 3y times y is negative 3y, and negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Now, as you can see, there are still like terms inside the parentheses, so we will first perform this one. For our first term, Negative 4x minus 4x is 8x, while in the second term, negative 3y minus 3y is negative 6y. We will now distribute 9 to each of the term here. 9 times x squared is 9x squared. 9 times negative 8x is negative 72x. 9 times positive 16 is positive 144. And then, 4 will be distributed here, so that's 4y squared, that's negative 24y, and then 4 times 9 is positive 36. Going back to our expected answer, we will be writing the term with x squared. So that would be 9x squared. Next is y squared, so that's plus 4y squared. Next term is with x. So that is this one, negative 72x, followed by term with y. So that's negative 24y. Next is e, which means constants. So we will be writing all of the constants, 144, 36, and 36 on this right side will be transposed to the left side so that we will have 0 on the right side. 
our constants here can still be simplified. So we'll simply copy everything and then perform 144 plus 36 minus 36 is equal to positive 144. And this is our final answer. Let us now proceed to the next item. As you can see, this is still in standard form with vertex HK. 36 is our A squared, while 20 is our B squared. Therefore, our given is actually in this standard form. Our goal is to come up with this general form. To do that, we have to remove all of the fractions here by multiplying it to its LCD. Recall that in number 3, our denominators are 4 and 9. Since they don't have a common factor or a number that can be divided in both of them, our LCD is simply the product of 4 and 9. However, in this item, 20 and 36 have something in common. We could start with 2. 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10, while 36 divided by 2 is 18. 10 and 18 still have something in common, which is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 18 divided by 2 is 9. We will stop here because we cannot think of any other common factor between 5 and 9. Our LCD here are the numbers outside. That is 2 times 2 times 5 times 9, which is equal to 180. Therefore, we will multiply each of our term in the given with 180. Starting with the first term, 180 divided by 20 is equal to 9. So we will be writing 9 here multiplied to the numerator. On our second term, we have here 180 divided by 36 is 5. So we will be multiplying 5 to the numerator. And then 180 times 1 is 180. As you can see, there is no more fraction here and we can now proceed. Let us expand these binomials. So we have here x minus 2 multiplied to itself and y minus 3 multiplied to itself. Let us now proceed with FOIL method. x times x is x squared x times negative 2 is negative 2x, negative 2 times x is negative 2x, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. On this side, y times y is y squared, y times negative 3 is negative 3y, negative 3 times y is negative 3y, and negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Since there are like terms in our parentheses, we will be combining them. Negative 2x minus 2x is negative 4x, while negative 3y minus 3y is negative 6y. Let us now distribute 9 to each of the term in the parentheses. 9 times x squared is 9x squared. 9 times negative 4x is negative 36x. 9 times 4 is positive 36. We will also do the same on this side. That is 5 times y squared is 5y squared. That is negative 30y. And then 5 times 9 is positive 45. We will simply copy 180 on the right side. Now going back to our expected answer, we will start writing the term with x squared. So we have here 9x squared followed by y squared. So that's positive 5y squared. We also have here term with x. So that's negative 36x. The term with y. So that's negative 30y. And then e represents all of the constants. So we have to write 
positive 36, positive 45, and our 180 here will be transposed to the left side so that our right side will only be 0. As you can see, our constants here can still be simplified. That is 36 plus 45 minus 180. That is equal to negative 99. And this is our final answer. Special shout out to my awesome students, Hannah Pabayo, Sahira Abbas, Ruiza Valdiweza, and Joanna Herrera. And to my annoying boyfriend who's not following instruction, Frankie Samson, shout out. That is all for today. Thank you and see you on our next video lesson.